Mass media and Silicon Valley censorship of conservatives has gone into overdrive lately if you hadn't noticed, and that's why I want to tell you about a new social network that is the answer to this suppression. Pocketnet.app is a first social network that has no corporation or central server. It works like a network of equal nodes, kind of like how Bitcoin does, so it's very difficult to shut it down or censor it. Only users decide which content is appropriate for them to see, which is very nice in this day and age. Also, viewers of this channel get a special offer if you try it today. When you sign up through my referral link, which is right below in the description of this video, you will get a bonus of five pocket coin. So go to pocketnet.app today to join now and receive your free bonus. Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about those funny DNA test girls running around here on YouTube this year. This time we've got another one of them responding to my response to their initial test video. Yeah, it's getting a little convoluted, I know, but stay with me. This is gonna get good. And last time this happened, it was with DNA test girl subject number two, also known as Brittany Ann. She actually almost pulled off a proper response to this kind of thing too. Brittany made an apology video saying she was sorry for her first video which made it look like she was ashamed of being white. This, of course, happening when she read her own DNA test results. And, well, aside from too much excuse making there, Brittany actually almost pulled it off. I was willing to let bygones be bygones and let things go with her, too. But also, don't forget, Brittany still shouldn't do something shitty like that again. But this time, we have a completely different story from what I can see. Now we're talking about the next video we made about DNA Test Girl 3, also known as MJ. She was the one who also got excited about possibly possibly being part African. But in the end, she ended up being rather surprised and somewhat ashamed, perhaps, to find out she was mostly Mongolian. If you want to catch up on that video or any other DNA test videos I've made, links to them are below. But for now, let's talk about how MJ has responded to me. You see, this chick MJ clearly got big mad about my video. I was pretty easy on her too, since her offenses were far lower than the previous two girls. But alas, MJ responded in one of the most dishonest and hypocritical ways possible. First of all, check out this picture and title for her video. It's called This YouTuber Decided to Expose Me for Being Racist, with a picture of her looking really triggered in her video's first frame. And while she goes on to try and play it cool here, and she loves to try and present herself with this happy-go-lucky, I'm so much better than everyone personality, but don't be fooled. MJ is clearly bugging out. I almost feel bad for her too, because she clearly can't handle this. But when she goes on to shame me heavily later, which we'll get to, well, that's where I draw the line. But before we even start watching her video, Video, which is almost 30 minutes by the way, but first, let's talk about what's up with her title more. You see, when I first read it, I was thinking, wait a minute, I don't think I really called her racist at all. I surely said she was being somewhat offensive and obnoxious, and she certainly did see, but racism really wasn't the big issue. Perhaps that seemed to be implied, or maybe even, I said it and don't remember fully, but thankfully, I keep all of my scripts on file, so I could easily go back and search them and see what I said exactly. And if you search my script for her video, it only turns up three results for the term racist. The first and only time I mention it in relation to her is when I'm saying she's borderline racist. Maybe. Meaning, perhaps maybe she slightly is a bit, but also maybe not. Then I'd later go on to say racist again, but the context is me saying I wouldn't call something racist. Then shortly after that, I bring up that it might be based on racist assumptions. So, all in all, even though I goofed on this girl heavily and totally disagree with her, I didn't actually call her straight up racist. I just said it was pretty offensive when she was so shocked about being Mongolian. And then I also said, if I were doing something similar to this, I certainly would be called racist. And well, that leads us into our next point here, which is exactly that. Instead of self-reflecting and possibly admitting she did something wrong here, MJ instead decides to pivot and attack me, obviously mad that I called her out. This first happens in the very top comment underneath her video. Here she has liked, loved, and pinned a comment with blatant lies about me, calling me this alt-right neo-German freak, even sharing a link to a fake article with total lies and fabrications about me. That link also uses fake quotes and slanders me, and of course, it calls me straight up racist there too, with no good support or direct reference to anything I've said or done whatsoever. So, if MJ is pinning and liking and sharing that comment with everyone, that means she's basically calling me a racist too, for no good reason. And also, she claims I called her racist when I didn't. I just made a video responding to her, and I gave her the courtesy of responding to her words directly and criticizing her video specifically 
perfectly and fairly, I think. But she just tries to play the victim here, pretending I'm now the racist, based on lies and videos and making shit up about me, with nothing that references back to my actual words or content whatsoever. What a goddamn joke. So yeah, with all that said, I think we can clearly see this is going extremely bad for MJ. Instead of, say, ignoring my video like she should have, or maybe, she could have tried and apologized or at least just explain things, like what Britney did, but no. MJ is straight up lying about my claims. Then she's pinning comments which basically call me a racist. And all the while, she even has the balls to say this in her video's description. Be kind and treat others like you want to be treated, and don't let anyone ever bring you down. Okay, wow. Well, I have to say, MJ, first of all, your English grammar is very off. Second, you've clearly been brought down. By one of the best, by the way. And as for this whole treating others the way they want to be treated, well, I say you should speak for yourself on that one, lady. If you don't want people to make responses to you, don't respond to them. And certainly don't lie about people unless you want that to happen to you one day. With all that said, I'm going to go ahead and give this girl a chance anyway, though. Let's check out her video and see where this goes. Check my YouTube and I got tons of notifications of people saying horrible things to me in my comments on my old video, my DNA video. I was just totally confused as to why people would leave these mean comments on my video. I was just like reading through them and thinking, why? Well, honey, people were saying things like that because the video you made was pretty offensive, and many would find it even a bit racist. I never said it was racist. I certainly might have implied that, but really, all I did was watch your video and respond, and I pointed out how surprised and offended you were when you found out you were mostly Mongolian, which is pretty funny, too, because it's obvious to most of us. You look hella Mongolian. And, sorry that other people saw this and agreed with me, but really, that's not my fault. I don't control everyone who watches my videos on YouTube, just like how I don't control any one at all. Really, I just control myself. MJ is obviously going to go on and blame this hate on me though, when really, she should be blaming herself too. And then, I found out why. Someone said, oh, I came from this video. Someone with a bigger channel, almost a million um, subscribers, made a video about me. Apparently, I haven't watched it yet, but we're going to watch it in a second. All these people from his channel went to my channel and left all the hate. Okay, but people who watch my channel are allowed to watch other videos on YouTube, last time I checked. And still, this girl is obviously shirking all blame from herself. She appears to think she didn't even come close to doing anything wrong. And all this hate isn't her fault at all, when really, it is. That's not on me either. Anyone who makes videos on the internet opens themselves up to getting negative comments like this. And in my opinion, I would call it negative rather than hate, which is the word she uses. Calling your detractors haters or trolls is another common defense mechanism for people people like this. And it's a way to try and belittle and undermine your opposition. But in reality, I also of course know and acknowledge there are lots of dumb people out there who talk shit on the internet. Of course there is, but the point is not to take it so seriously. Try and let it roll off your back, ignore it, and move on with your life. But clearly this MJ girl can't do that. She said she got one comment calling her racist and then she couldn't sleep at night. Think about that. Think about the kind of character that person would have. Doesn't sound like the type of person or personality who could make it out here online if you ask me. No bullshit. 672,000 subscribers. Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we not only have another new DNA test video to go over with another shocked young girl whose reaction is also borderline offensive, but also, hey, that's me. Cool. And I love how my intro starts off saying she's borderline offensive, yet the title of MJ's video says I straight up called her racist. Not even close. Borderline offensive means you're only maybe offensive, and racist would be a big step well past that. Also, what I find funny here is this girl's attempt at making a reaction video. I don't think she's done this much on her channel at all either, and when she does, she decides, hey, why don't I try and out-respond a response video maker like No Bullshit, who's got over three years of professional experience over me. Not trying to brag here, guys, but I think you get my point. MJ is way out of her league here. She's trying to fight well above her weight class, and that's why her attempt is coming off as cringy as hell. It's hard to watch much of her video, too, since she goes over my whole entire video almost completely and barely barely says anything at all. Almost no verbal input. Just weird looks and sighs and huffs. She makes faces and deep breaths. Like she's some sort of old school jinx type reaction channel from five years ago. You could replace my video here with a movie trailer or something too and you wouldn't even notice the difference. So rather than bore you with too much of this girl watching my video, let's go ahead and skip ahead and see more of the dumb stuff she actually says later. 16 minutes later to be exact. Let's go through his comments and see what his people, his subscribers have to say about this. My god. That girl's ugly. She does have a huge head. F gonna f How the F 
Are you hoping to be part black when you're white as the wall? I don't get people and their idiotic wishful thinking. I've never said I want to be black. Okay, here's an update on her video so far. She got mean comments now and blames them on me. And she also watched my whole entire video on camera for 15 minutes, hardly saying anything or pausing or reacting at all. Next, she just moves on to reading random comments too. What the heck? What even is this girl doing here? Is she responding to me or these random comments? I don't get it. And then the last line she just said, which seems to be her first defense of herself directly, and she just straight up lies. Listen, MJ, we have video evidence of you saying, what if I was part African? And then you do a little dance signifying that would make you very happy. Do I really need to pull up the footage and evidence to prove this girl wrong? You know what? Fine. Let's do it. Let's check out that clip. Imagine I'm like African. I was going to say, oh, that explains my... Imagine like African. And boom. That's how you reply to a video in a bad argument, you gosh darn amateur. I have already explained this in the actual video but it has been like an ongoing thing between me and my subscribers um, and I have to say um, my YouTube community, my YouTube family, my people, we have this great bond. After five minutes of reading random comments, this girl again gives very little reactions at all. Later we finally get to her talking more about things right here though, but again she tries to pretend she's this super nice happy-go-lucky innocent girl who never did anything wrong. But we're not buying that anymore lady. Not only did you make a silly DNA test video basically showing your racial biases, but also now you're putting words in my mouth and lying about me and spreading lies about me. That's not something an innocent little fly in the wall would do. You basically called me an alt-writer too and a neo-German from World War II, if you know what I mean. Yes, this chick has called me everything under the book now, and she wants to pretend she's this innocent girl at the same time. Basically, she's just as biased and corrupt as anyone else out there on the internet, particularly the left-leaning people, who will happily make shit up when it suits their situation, just like this. Shared nothing but positivity and just put myself out there, you know? It was never something hateful or anything. I've never put out hate on my channel. Therefore, I was even more surprised to see all this hate because I didn't know where it was coming from. So just put yourself in my shoes, you know? I'm talking... Posting lies about someone and sharing a link that makes shit up and calls them racist is not positive vibes like you claim. That's what you did to me and you're not being consistent here. Basically, I see right through your bullshit. Give up and stop lying. But especially to whoever made this video, um. I don't even know if you have a real name, but his channel is called No Bullshit. Yeah. This is gonna get good. Now she starts addressing me directly and it gets absolutely hilarious. I couldn't help but laughing out loud when I first watched this because she talks at me like she's my mother or something. Like, how dare you? Like Greta Thunberg, how dare you? Also, she just said she doesn't know if I have a real name. What the hell does that even mean? Everyone has a real name and mine's also very easy to find and search for. It's Brooks Heatherly, which is also my Twitter handle that's linked below every one of my videos. I'm not hiding or concealing anything here. And if you don't know who I am really, then why why are you lying about me and posting blatant fabrications about me in your comment section? And also, it's worth noting, comment sections are obviously very important to her because she just spent five minutes reading comments in her own video. The man who made this hateful video about me, and I wonder why you do this. Like, for what? For views, of course, for views, but how do you feel? How do you feel creating negative content, putting words in my mouth, trying to make me look like something that I'm not, like a racist. Are you proud? Like, do you Oh, you don't like putting words in people's mouths now? Then why did you say I called you a racist in your video's title? And then to make matters even worse, this girl says I was trying to make her look racist when she does the same thing to me in her comment section. You really can't make this kind of hypocrisy up. As for the why question she lays out first here, that's pretty simple. I make videos because I have fun doing it and it makes me and my friends laugh. I also enjoy video production. I like writing and editing clips together and sharing my responses with other people who enjoy them like you guys. I've had lots of great success doing this too by the way and there's a reason why my channel has been going on longer and has much more subscribers than MJ's. Not trying to boast or brag again but it does say something here. More people like and agree with what I have to say more often and in this situation that also means something since it pretty much proves this DNA test girl number three was just plain wrong. Another thing to note is she's calling things hate again here implying I have much more invested and at stake than I really do. Don't flatter 
flatter yourself, girl. I don't hate you at all. I really don't care that much or think about you much. And if you honestly watched my first video, you could tell I don't actually hate her. And I don't hate other people in most of my videos either. Sure, I think MJ is wrong and silly here, and she also acts stupid sometimes, but hate is not what I would characterize it, and it's also not something I've said at any point either. She's making up this hate claim just like how she made up the racist one. Because MJ wants to over-exaggerate my thoughts, statements, and feelings so she can then bat them down easier. Kind of like a straw man type strategy, combined with her also using ad hominems against me to try and slander my character and my personality instead of actually addressing my arguments and claims, which barely happens in this video, which is sad because it's almost 30 minutes long. Do you feel bad or anything? Let me just try to explain. I have three younger siblings. Can you imagine them going on the internet and reading all of this hate that I get? How do you think they would feel about it? Or their friends being like, oh, this, this is on the internet about your sister. This person saying she's a racist. So basically, people watching her videos and thinking she might come off as racist, that's not okay with MJ. But at the same time, she can flat out call me racist in her comments section based on nothing but lies. And that's okay with her, I guess. Classic do as I say, not as I do democratic thinking right here. As for talking about her siblings seeing this shit, well, first of all, that's her playing the victim again, while also trying to shame me, thus proving this girl is obviously not as nice as she seems. She's being sneaky and underhanded and very manipulative, and she wants people to believe her lies. In addition, if anything, MJ should be embarrassed about her own damn videos. She's the one putting cringy shit out there on the internet, being ashamed about being Mongolian and doing these other videos about her flights and singing all the time randomly and being awkward. And I'd bet big money if her family was actually embarrassed about her, it would be from her own content that she actually makes herself. And they wouldn't really get embarrassed about a few comments from some random people on the internet. In the end, this girl will blame everyone but herself here for what's happening. And sure, I'm not denying people who watched my video went over to hers and watched it too, but that's not because I wanted them to or told them to. In fact, I have an anti-harassment notice on every one of my videos saying not to do this directly. But people do anyway because they have freedom and free will and agency. They are independent and they have minds and thoughts of their own. So if they go over to your video, MJ, and watch, and also decide to leave a comment and share their thoughts, that's their right to do it. And you need to stop blaming other people but yourself. And in turn, if MJ gets negative comments, that's her own fault too because she's the one putting herself out there and saying dumb things. MJ's in control of her life and what she puts online too, and also the cringy things she says in her videos. What do you guys think? Was this DNA test girl 3 really triggered by us today? Do you think she realizes how bad and worse this reaction really makes her look? Comment your thoughts on everything below and thanks for watching No Bullshit. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.